is going on YouTube? It feels so good to be back. It is Saturday, December 8th, aka Concord Retro Release Date. This is crazy because I'm actually leaving Atlantic City to go to Philly to Lapstone and Hammer and grab my pair of the Concord 11s from Lapstone Hammer, go back to the sneaker room, do the unboxing, do the review, do the on foot, get back in my car, drive back to Atlantic City. Me and they have dinner, some gambling. Uh, last night, drank a little bit. I'm a little bit hungover. So this 100-mile ride that I'm essentially doing for Concord 11s does seem a little crazy, especially because the sneaker was so widely produced and you know there's people putting out numbers that it's the most manufactured retro jordan of all time i don't know you know the and if the, there's any truth to that sentiment but it's a grail to me so for me to do this trek it's worth it to me and i want to apologize for any shaky camera that we may be dealing with right now i'm kind of driving a little bit above the speed limit and a little bit like a lunatic and a little bit like a lunatic is i don't want to you know be too long with doing this you know and it, and it does kind of um you know work out in the long run me and they you know as much as we go away we we do love our dog buster and we hate leaving them. We have a good dog sitter that comes over and takes care of them when we do go away. You know, we do go to Atlantic City a lot. But, you know, it, being away from them does, you know, it's crazy. It's, it's just, you know, many people say it's just an animal. But, you know, we do have a very strong emotional attachment to them. So it, it's hard being away from them for like 48 hours, but especially both of us. As Nate's still down AC, as I'm making this, you know, Shrek to grab these. Our dog sitter, coincidentally, you know, has a little bit of a, pri a prior engagement that he has to do. So I'm be able to go home, chill with the dog for a little bit, and you know, make him feel less lonely, and you know, make us feel a little bit better about being away from him. But I want to talk about for a minute while I'm on this ride. Like, what's the craziest thing you've done for sneakers? Now I know in the grand scheme of things, me driving 100 miles to get a pair of sneakers may not seem that crazy may not seem that crazy to most but then there's you know the people who aren't you know in the sneaker game or you know don't collect sneakers or don't hold sneakers to the regard that you know me and my fellow sneakerheads do so they may look at this as a little bit of overkill a little crazy and then there's the people who you know are going to say you're driving 100 miles for a sneaker that's so widespread why don't you grab it online why don't you try to get a raffle win like closer to Atlantic City so on and so forth one if I haven't made it abundantly clear, you know, I like doing business with Lapstone Hammer. They're good people. I feel like, you know, Philly being a big city, big market, only having two sneaker boutiques, you know, it's kind of easy to, to find a favorite and to, to, to make relationships and build friendships with the people at these sneaker shops because you only have two of them. You know, it's not like New York or LA where there's a million sneaker boutiques. We literally have two. And then we have all of the, you know, the chains, finish line, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, uh, Villa, Kicks USA, so on and so forth. You know, and I have good relationships with a lot of people at them stores as well. But I feel like Lapstone and Hammer, you know, that's, you know, Brian, the owner of that, that's one man. And, you know, if I can go out of my way to continue to give him my business and, you know, hope that other people do the same, you know, instead of making a conglomerate, you know, Foot Action, Champs, Foot Locker, East Bay, all owned by the same parent company. You're making, you know, millionaires, gazillionaires, even more millionaires and gazillionaires. So I feel like shopping at like a mom and pop toy place in a sneaker boutique like that, like, you know, it, it's good to get to, you know, stay in your own community and to to give back to your own community and support your own community and shop local, support local. You know, I'm real big with that kind of grassroots type movement, you know, and that's why, like, I try to push my sneaker things so much. Like, I'm one guy who does this. Yeah, I, I did my collab with my brother, my homie from the Midwest, Midwest native, but, you know, we're, we're 
two guys who, who like making clothes that we think is cool. And, you know, that's why I try to push that. You know, it, it, it's dope to have Supreme. It's dope to have Babe. I, I own that stuff. You know, it's dope to, to buy from these huge streetwear brands. But it's also dope to support local and, and support individuals and, and support growing entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So that's why I give Lapstone Hammer my business. That's why I didn't try driving. There's a mall like a halfway from Atlantic City, Philly to Hamilton Mall. I could have entered all them chains there in there. They have foot locker, foot action. They have all of them finish line. I could have entered them raffles, hoped to hit at one of them and just, you know, took a 15, 20 minute ride, grabbed my sneakers and went right back down the AC. But I wanted to go check on the dog. I wanted to do the reviewing on foot at home. I wanted to give Brian and Lapstone Hammer my business. And, you know, that's just, that's the kind of guy I am. And, and, that, and that's how I conduct myself. You know, so like, as a lot of people may think of this road trip as crazy and overkill. I mean, it's a 45 minute ride when I'm doing above the speed limit. I mean, so it's an hour and a half out of my day to go support somebody that's doing their own thing. And, and that's what it really comes down to. But what's the craziest thing you guys did for sneakers? Leave comments down below. I'm interested to see, and I don't want it to be monetary. Like, oh, I spent a million dollars. Well. If you spend a million dollars on a pair of sneakers, you have the money to spend the million dollars on a pair of sneakers. So I don't think it's that crazy now. And I'm not condoning this, but if you rob the bank to pay them sneakers, that's pretty crazy. So leave comments down below. I want to know what the craziest thing you guys ever done to get your hands on a pair of sneakers. And with that being said, I'm going to get back to driving. I'm kind of you know, slowing down my speed limit here to make sure I can stay focused on the road and on the camera. So we're going to go do our thing. We're going to get back to the sneaker room. We'll do the review. We'll do the on foot. I will see you guys there. Be safe. Godspeed. Catch you in the sneaker room. Holla. into this unboxing we're going to do a quick review we're going to do the on foot and then i got to get back to atlantic city as nay is still there waiting for me in case everyone was wondering my dog buster is safe and sound you know we are away for the weekend and we have a dog sitter you know who had you know a previous obligation for a few hours today so it worked out well i was able to come home check on the dog grab the sneakers my dog sitter is en route back to the house so i'm gonna go right back down atlantic city as soon as we're done filming this but enough of me rambling you know the drill let's get a glimpse on these warlocks that old school jordan 11 box i know i always break right into the shoe but i think it's super super dope that jordan brand and nike are doing something different they're not doing the pull out slide box you know this is, has a very very retro feel to it and the Concord 11 is a grail to everybody, and I know these were mass produced, and I know if you wanted these, you were able to secure yourself a pair. So, so Concord 11s, Black Cement 3s, and Bread 1s are sneakers that no matter how many times they retro them, and no matter how many times they come out, I have to get myself a pair. You know, I don't have my old pair the, from the previous release. The only pair of Concords I currently have are the Lowe's, and I have beaten them to dog shit. Um, so I'm glad, to get, I'm, I'm glad to finally get these in my hands, but... Enough reminiscing, as previously stated. Let's get a glimpse of these Warlocks. You got that Jordan Concord 11. Whoo! The grail of all grails. This sneaker is just, it brings me back to childhood. Like, like I always state, there's certain sneakers that just make me remember being a young kid in Philly and, you know, just... Stuff with my family, summers, vacations, just Christmas. It, 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 just, it just brings me back to my youth. And, you know, as we get older, it's good to, to see something, to smell something, to hear something that brings you back to a, a simpler, younger time. And, 
These definitely do it for me. As I stated, these Black Cement 3s, Bread 1s, Air Max OGs. It's just certain stuff brings me back to being a kid. Great fives. You know, I'm showing my age a little bit, but like getting them for my first Holy Communion was just like crazy to me. And, you know, it goes without saying. Every sneakerhead, you know, whether you be young, old, new, you know, entrenched in this game for years, this sneaker is iconic. And I know, as I stated, I know people are angry, people are bitter, and it's mainly the older sneakerheads that these are so mass-produced, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad that whoever wanted these was able to get them, because this is a sneaker that everybody should own, this is a sneaker that everybody has to own, but I, there's nothing really too much to review here, it's the Concord 11, you got that crisp white mesh upper, you got the leather on the heel, you got that black jump mane, you got that white 45 on the back, you got that shimmering, shiny, perfect black patent leather, and then that purple Concord bottom, just fuego, 100 million flames, I cannot emphasize enough how much I love this sneaker, I'm going to beat the brakes off of this, the sole is going to be falling off of these by the time I am done with them. But we're going to go do the on foot. I got to get back to Atlantic City. You got to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Until next time, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Play this record as frequently as possible. Richie Ruckus beat.